Well, we are, of course, we're sitting here talking with uh, Hallmark Channel's and Nutcracker Christmas's actress, Amy Acker. This is the music. Dun, da, da, da. I mean, come on. That, <laughs> that just, gets you in the mood, it, it doesn't does, it? It does. It does. Your character that you play in this is kind of is gone away from the stage, gone away from yeah. performance. And what's pulling her back? Well, in the story, my character has always dreamed of being the Sugar Plum Fairy. And uh, the night she's finally going to go on, there's a family tragedy. And she leaves ballet and leaves everyone involved in her life up until then, including her boyfriend at the time. Mm. And goes home and raises her sister's daughter, who becomes an amazing ballet prodigy and gets cast as Clara in The Nutcracker. And so I have to take her to this performance very reluctantly. Oh, so it's very past. bittersweet for you. Yes, not only my past, but my ex-boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> well, it is a Hallmark movie, so something yeah. tells me he won't and be your ex for yeah. too long. <laughs> That's how it works on the, in uh. these movies. <laughs> we, we were watching it the other night, and my daughter was sitting next to me, and every time there was a kiss with the guy, she was yeah. covering her eyes like, <laughs> <laughs> yuck. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not covering my eyes watching this movie. It is is one of the most beautifully shot movies I have seen it's on our really, channel. It's so beautiful. The set you. design and the costumes when you guys are on stage. Tell me about some of these. Look at that. Yeah, they had, uh, I mean, we were surrounded by these great dancers who were um, from, we were in Toronto, so from the Toronto National Ballet and um, we had costumes from, I think it was Utah Ballet. These, uh, But the, they rented the full production with the sets and everything and so it just, you really felt like you were doing the Nutcracker. So those are the real sets. These and are the real, real sets. Costumes. Yeah, we had to finish because they had to get them back so that the people could actually wear them wear in them? the Nutcracker that was starting like the next day. That's a huge <laughs> honor. Yeah, it was very nice of them to to let us borrow them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a clip from this. This is so Sadie's your daughter. Yeah. Well, niece. 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 Sorry, your niece that you essentially helped raise. Yeah. So, uh, but this is a conversation between the two of you where you're telling her you really have to believe in yourself and. It's so, so important. Let's take a look. They're saying I only got the part of Clara because you and Mr. Anders used to date. You heard that? I just want them to know that I'm a good dancer. Oh, Sadie, sweetie, I'm so sorry. No, this is a professional dance company. You only dance if you deserve to be there, like you. You just do your best, and they'll know you belong. I guess. You know what your mom used to say to me? What? One plie at a time. Can you do that? I can try. Good. Do you ever wish that you haven't given up dance? Wow. Oh, you see the look back after yeah. that question? Uh, did, yeah. Did your mom ever used to tell you that as a little girl, one plea at no, a time? Oh, I wish she did. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm going to start using that. That's one, that's yeah, that's, that's one to live by right there. Yeah. Did you one see the Nutcracker time. as a little girl? I did. I, I grew up doing ballet until I was about 13. So I um, we went to the Nutcracker almost every year, and that's a tradition I've continued with my, oh, my daughter. Yes, oh, my God. <laughs> Was it your dream to dance in the Nutcracker? I imagine as a ballerina, I it's mean, everything. I dream. wanted to be a ballerina desperately. I did not have the talent that these people I was surrounded by did. So it was really a dream, but it was. But um, still, it was, it was a dream. I understand until along came a spider and <laughs> sat oh, down no. beside her. Yes. I heard this story. Isn't Can that you a crazy fill in the story? audience? Uh, well, when I was in first grade, I um, our neighborhood used to do this. Uh, Christmas pageant, and I was the angel um, of the Lord oh, this year. That's adorable. <laughs> yes. That's beautiful. Um, and we did it in the floodplain down in our neighborhood, and I got bit by a brown recluse spider and was paralyzed from the neck down for two weeks over Christmas break. I couldn't, my dad had to like carry me down and open Christmas presents for oh me. Gosh, that's scary. And it was terrible. I mean, I don't remember much of it. And my, every time I ask my parents, they're like, we don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we don't want to discuss that. Yeah. Well, what were the repercussions from that well, after obviously the paralyzation yeah. for two weeks? I was fine. And then when I was about 13, I had this just weird lump on my knee and it was clicking and I went and I had surgery and it was all this this weird 
messed up from the spider bites, scar was tissue. Like spider and, eggs in yeah, there, kind and it was all growing. <laughs> the guy like took it out and put it in a jar for me. Oh, really? <laughs> the good news is she's like Spider Man now. She could just climb the building like, very easily. Really I'm waiting. Keen sense I'm waiting. Of what's going <laughs> <Yeah>. on. <Like, laughs> <laughs> webs come out of your hands. Um, well, that is all water under the bridge yeah, now. It is. Yes, now I'm fine. <laughs> and now you're fine. And you also. Um, you you said that your mother is somewhat of a Christmas explosion. As you can see, we are a bit of a Christmas we explosion. Are a bit. In we the are best a possible bit. We are. way. Right. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I, I in a good way. We just have everything that is possible to collect for Christmas in our house. There is like there's the nutcracker section and the Christmas village section and <laughs> We, she has her own tree. The kids were had their tree that we could decorate, and then she got her own pretty tree that she, we weren't allowed to, <laughs> to touch. <laughs> nice. She had to have her Good pristine idea. one. Yeah. Put all the other stuff over there, exactly. and that one with the popcorn and the uh, candy cane. You can have the colored lights. <laughs> right. Exactly. I understand, though. You, uh, it's this is your sort of. I don't even think it's a tradition. I think it's a mandate. You do not celebrate Christmas until you're done blowing out candles. Well, that's what birthday my candles. my birthday's December 5th. So growing up, my Don't parents you stop always it. Happy, yes. birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. There you go. Oh, yes. My husband threw me a surprise party, so it was very he exciting. A surprise party? He what, threw what? a surprise party for me. I was like all I had come to terms with that I had the worst husband ever and he was doing nothing for my birthday. <laughs> it was a big one. Wait, it was a big way one. Way to set it up. Way to set it up. He's a terrible husband. Well, but I mean, if you, you know, if he's doing a surprise and it's a big deal and I know, it's but a big then did year. you apologize? Did you have to go over those horrible thoughts in about it? He, my, my parents had flown his parents, my college roommate, our friend, three friends from New York and Connecticut and New Orleans. It was like 50 of... It was better than like a wedding. It, I didn't have to do any of the work and I had all these people I loved. It was so amazing. He did a oh. wonderful job. Wow. And so now you can celebrate good, Christmas. Yes, good, and now yeah. it's Christmas. It's Will it ever live up to your birthday? I don't know. <laughs> I know. What are your plans, by the way, for the holidays? We um, now that we have the birthday's over. Yes, now that my, um, my husband's whole family and my whole family, we usually kind of combine. So there's 19 of us, and we've rented a big kind of farm up in California, and we're gonna. Oh. One of my sisters is planning. We're having a field day, so she's doing games and relays. It's it's gonna be a very all-American family Christmas. Well, Can we come visit? <laughs> yeah, come, come on out. I wanna come spend time. We have a, I think we had a, a prize, uh, I think it was a brown spider we were gonna give you. Oh, yeah, but thank you, you know, I Nut mean. Cracker Christmas premiere Saturday, December 10th at 8, 7 Central on Hallmark Channel. Part of our countdown to Christmas. You can get more information uh, on our website or you can follow Amy. If you can catch her, she's got a Twitter page waiting for you. <laughs>